Hey, it's Arit here with Estatino Media, helping you create profitable content. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to design a LinkedIn banner in Photoshop. This banner that you see here on your screen is going to be one that's clean, it looks pro and fits all devices because this is really prime real estate to make a good first impression on LinkedIn. So let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do when you have Photoshop open is to create this canvas. I'm gonna show you how to create this exact banner and all you need to do is just replace this information with your own, your own logo, your own company colors and an image that fits your brand. So to create this, let's start off by going to file and then new and we're going to create a canvas that is 2000 pixels wide here i'm on the right so i'm going to change the width to 2000 pixels and it's going to be 500 for the height so just make sure that this drop down is selected to pixels and everything else is fine uh, you can leave it at 72 for the pixels per inch rgb leave that as such and we're going to hit create so that we now have this canvas in front of us and I'm gonna pull it open here so we can create this essentially side by side with what we have below. I think most of you will be wanting to know how to create the profile, so we'll stick with that. All right, so let's get started here. The first thing we wanna do is bring in an image. So you can see here the back end of this image has to do with computers um, and electronics. So Synergy is one of our clients and they help organizations resolve IT issues in their IT departments. So we wanted to find a related image. So for you, find an image that is good as a background image, not too distracting like you can see here. It doesn't have a face on it and no focused point because things will get cut off on different devices. So you can go out to sites like pixabay.com or pexels.com or if you have a subscription with Adobe stock images or Envato, you can find images like that there. So I'm gonna go to File. Once you've found that image, you've downloaded it off the site. We need to bring that image into Photoshop. So go to File here and then Place Embedded. And I already have my image ready to go in my Downloads folder. So I'm gonna select it here. You're gonna double click that and it's gonna bring it in. So I'm just gonna click and drag it to the corners and then use this right here. Now you can see here as I'm making it bigger, it kind of distorts the image dimensions. If you wanna keep the same aspect ratio, which is recommended because otherwise it will stretch the image out in different directions, what you wanna do is hold down shift on your keyboard and then click and drag the bottom corner. So you can see here, I can't stretch it out in, in a weird way. It keeps those dimensions in place. So I think right about there is good. I'm gonna hit the check mark. All right, and now what we wanna do is put this blue overlay on top because that will help us make the text on top of that stand out more. So again, you can use your own specific color that applies to your brand. For this one, it is like a deep blue. So I'm gonna first create the rectangle here. So go ahead to your rectangle tool. And then what we're gonna do again is see the little crosshairs. We're gonna click and drag that across the entire canvas. You can see here right now I have this color filled in by default as black, but I'm gonna choose the blue. So I'll click on this fill color. And if you don't see this, by the way, on the bottom here, you can also do it from the top right here. So same thing, click on the color. I'm gonna select this right here where you can see all of the different colors. And from there, we can choose the color that suits most, or I can do what I'm, you see here, the little eyedropper. I'm gonna grab this exact blue color from here, but you can also play around with all these colors. You can move this down, move this shade around, click and drag to whatever it is that you like. All right, so let's choose this one. I'm gonna hit, actually, I think it was a bit of a deeper blue like this, and then hit okay. And you can see it's solid, right? And we want to make it a little bit of a transparent so that the image in the back comes out. 
So to do that, head over to your layers and then make sure the, re the rectangle is still selected. And then you can over here where it says opacity, just click and drag that like so. You want to play with this opacity until you get a sort of nice, nice general color that covers that image because like I said, the text here is going to sit nicely on top of that and stand out. And you can also come back and adjust the opacity later because when you put the text in, you might notice, oh, it's a bit too distracting the image in the background. So you can come and click here and make it a little bit more opaque so that it's very, that image is very slightly coming through. So let's do something right about there, I think is nice. Okay, so next thing we wanna do is add this white circle. And you can do the same thing for your LinkedIn banner because what this white circle does is that it allows us to put the logo nicely on top and it'll stand out nicely on top. If you already have a white logo, you can directly place it on top as well without the white circle. But let me show you how to create this white circle. So same thing, you go over here to the left and select the ellipses tool. With this, now I want the fill color. I'm selecting this color at the top to be white. Oh, oops, we don't want to change the rectangle. Let's, I basically just hit Control Z on my keyboard to undo that, but let's just select out of this. All right, now we can go back and do this again. Go to fill white, and I'm going to click and drag the crosshairs and make kind of like a, an oval, a lying down oval, something like this. And you could see here it ended up turning purple. That's because the layer of the white circle is actually underneath the rectangle. So we're gonna bring that up top. I'm gonna click and drag it ab above the blue rectangle. And now I can use my move tool, which is at the very top, and then click and drag this into place like so. And if you want to adjust this, by the way, if you don't like the shape of the rectangle, you can always just go to make sure that it, the circle is selected or rather edit, sorry, edit, transform and scale. And then you'll have the little squares at the ends again to kind of adjust it accordingly, however you want to shape it. So maybe you just want something shorter like that. All right, let's hit the check mark. And next we're gonna bring in the logo. So go to file, place embedded, and then go find your logo on your computer. So mine's over here. I'm gonna double click that. It's gonna bring it in again. I'm going to click and drag that into place and we're gonna make this bigger, but I don't want it to be distorted. So I'm gonna hold down the shift on my keyboard click the bottom square and then drag it out like so and then move that down into place all right so next thing we're going to do is add this text so where it says we empower it organizations to resolve it issues fast you want to think of a very brief statement that instantly tells people what you offer and why they should care. So this could be a statement that essentially helps people understand what problems you will solve for them. So with this statement, you know, he goes into these organizations and helps solve these IT issues that their these organizations are having. He helps them resolve them fast. So we've decided to put all those elements into this one powerful statement. So you'll need to think of something that's very brief and to the point. And then once you have that, go over to the text tool and then I'm going to just click anywhere right here so that we could start to see some text coming in, right? And I want this text to be white. So I'm gonna go over here at the top and change this black color to white and hit okay. And if you wanna change the font, you can do that as well over here and go through as many different fonts as you like I think this font that we used over here is Leto, so I'm gonna just simply type that in directly because I have a lot of fonts and I don't wanna scroll through them right now. 
and I think it was Lato Heavy. So I'm gonna select that one, and then we're gonna type this statement in. So we empower IT organizations you can see here it's going off the canvas because it's really big so what i want to do is select all of this and i'm going to make this smaller at the top here you see we can adjust the sizing i'm just basically clicking and dragging to the left to make it smaller or i could also just simply hit that drop down menu and play around with these numbers right here but i like to just go like this all right, that looks like a different font. Um, we'll change it after. So I'll just type in the rest of this to resolve IT issues fast. Okay, hit the check mark. Let me just quickly see what this one was. This one was Oswald. Okay, I'm gonna hit the X on that. Come back here and let's just quickly change it to Oswald. There we go. And now I'm going to move it into place. So Again, using the move tool, I'm going to make it so that it's, you see how the lines show up for me to have it all centered? So I think just about there looks good, nice and centered. And if you wanna adjust, for example, and if you wanna get more control over customizing this font, for example, increasing the spacing between the letters, you can do that as well. Just make sure that you go to window and have your character styles menu open. I already have it right here. So I'm going to, you see this where it says VA and it has those two arrows. I'm gonna click and drag to the right and you can see how much space it added between those letters. So let's just adjust it right there. That looks good. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing at the bottom here. Now, this bottom line is a call to action. So again, your LinkedIn banner is prime real estate to let someone know what it is that you do and then give them a call to action to visit a website. Maybe it's to download a free guide or a report on your website. So put that link in your banner. So I'm gonna create this text over here. Go to the text tool. Again, click anywhere and I'm gonna write Let's spell visit correctly. Visit synergy.net to book a consult. All right, and this was a different font. You can see here, this is super thin. Um, let's just say it was open sans. We'll go with that, something like this. And I'm gonna make it smaller. Again, hitting the drop down menu. Uh, well, that's way too small. Let's click and drag to the right. I think that's good. Doesn't look exactly the same, but that's fine. We have it right there. And then I want to bring out that link, that website link. So you can see here we created a rounded rectangle, almost like a button that we're gonna put or place behind Synergy.net. You could do the same thing with your website. So what I'm gonna do is I need to create more space. You could see here between visit and the website link and then between these words so i'm just going to click in here hit the space bar a couple times same thing on this side i think about there is good okay we'll do that and then hit the check mark and i'm going to create this right now so again using the shape tool go to the rectangle and in order to have those curved edges you see right over here at the top where it has a curved corner, you can click and drag that slightly over to the right. This adjusts how much curvature you want in the corners. And we can also do it after. So we can start to see what it looks like. Um, oh, and we wanna make it a blue button. So I'm gonna change the fill color to this blue right here. Again, use your own brand colors. All right, and stroke, by the way, is just the outline color. So if you do want an outline around that button, you can change, you can choose a different color for that as well. But this is good. I'm going to now click and drag. All right, and then you can see there, it placed it on top. So I'm gonna go back to my layers and move this underneath this text layer that says visit synergy.net. And now I can go in here and just adjust it accordingly. And if you wanna get, you wanna zoom in a little bit more, hit control and plus sign on your keyboard. So that way 
you can really adjust the sizing of the button and you can move that button as well with more control using your keyboard so you can use the up and down arrows for example like if i hit the move tool i can hit the up and down arrows on my keyboard to really just adjust it accordingly and let's zoom out again so i'm going to go control minus sign to zoom out so we can see what it looks like as a whole and this entire text is a little bit too far to the right so I want to move this line as well as that button a little bit more to the left. So to do that, you want to select both the re rectangle and this line. So I'm going to select one of the layers and then I'm going to hold shift and click this second rectangle layer, which is that this button. And this way I can now use my move tool to click and move both of these layers together like so. All right, and then I can also use the arrows on my keyboard. Now, if you wanted to make this whole thing smaller so that you know we can make it closer to this, all you need to do is go back here to Edit, Transform, Scale. And because you know these two layers are still selected, I can hold down the Shift button again to control the scaling and then click one of those corners and drag it slightly like so. I think that's good. And I let go of the shift and now I'm clicking this and moving it over here. All right, and I'm gonna hit the check mark. So now we have a fully designed banner and all we need to do is just make sure that it looks good on all different devices. Now, for the most part, your LinkedIn profile banner will automatically scale on mobile and tablet. So you won't have any issues of the text being cut off with this particular canvas. And you can see that I've, I have it slightly over to the right because the profile image or the photo of you essentially on LinkedIn, it's that little avatar photo, will be placed here on mobile. So that's why we left this open, uh, left some extra room here. And if, by the way, you just came to watch this video for the LinkedIn profile cover, then you're ready to go. You can actually save this. Go to File, Save a Copy. You can save it on your computer or to your Creative Cloud. I just usually save it to my computer and you can change the name over here. I'm just going to name it test, go to save as type and PNG, and you can save it anywhere. Hit save. That PNG is what you'll go then to go and upload your LinkedIn banner. Make sure as well though, that you save a PSD file version of this. So you could always come back to edit it. So all you need to do there is just again, go to file, save as, but instead of changing the type to PNG, you'll just leave it as a PSD, as a Photoshop file. And if, by the way, you're just struggling with creating this banner, you need some help, or you just want to outsource the design, I'd be happy to help. You can head down to the description, find my email address, and shoot me an email. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.